Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we are going to be talking about how Donald Trump wants to give me a thumbs up. I'm just kidding. But anyways, this is a video about uh, me supporting Aurora. I went out so happy with uh, the way the stock price was acting and uh, I want to support Aurora and, you know, help them out by buying their products. So I went out and I bought a bunch of Aurora stuff and I'm here to share it. So the first one is San Rafael Gummy. This was dated on April 6, 2020. If you can see that. Wait, hold on. April 6, 2020. So it's, they are selling product. They are moving inventory because that, that's quite early. And then this one is Aurora Drift Raspberry Gummy. I, uh, and this date was, see, April, April 4th, 2020. So yeah, I'm gonna line them up. Actually, you know what? Let's go look inside and see what they look like. So this is raspberry gummy. I really like gummies, by the way. They are my favorite edibles so far. I, uh, especially the Roy gummies. Oxley, not so much. They're kind of bitter. That's what I find. But the, the Roy gummies are really good. I enjoy them. And yep, here they are. You know, this is what the gummy looks like. And I'm gonna eat one. It's good. You know what? They taste better cold. You should put them in the cooler and then eat them. They taste better cold. I don't know if it'll affect the THC, but it tastes better cold. And this is the pineapple gummy. You can see this is what it looks like. So it, it's an orange gummy. I'm not gonna eat it because it's late at night. And oh, you know what? Screw it. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Might as well. So, because mm, I, I left these in my car and it was kind of cold outside because it's raining today. And they got cold. So, it tastes pretty good cold, I have to say. Here's another one, same date, April 6th. Um, yeah, I have too not too much to say. I'm just I'm I'm just pulling them out right now and uh, and racking them up so so you guys can see. But these are all the same date because I ordered or I ordered them on the Alberta online store. So yeah, I ordered ten. That's my that's it. That's the total a pyramid of gummies. How long will this last me? Let's see. If I had two every day. That would be, in 10 days, that would be 100. Wait, 2 times 10 is 20. Could last me a whole month, depending. I don't know. Probably 2 weeks. It'll probably last me 2 weeks. Got some more, I got some chocolate here. Um, this one was dated on April. Sorry, this one is... April, uh, dated on, uh, May 20th, no, not May, <laughs> uh, third month, March, 
March third, uh, March twentieth, twenty twenty. If you can see that, March, yeah, March twentieth. So it's these don't sell as well, but you know, they, I like the taste of the the sea salt chocolate caramel. I like gummies way better, but chocolate is not bad. Um, so yeah. So so far, out of all the companies that do edibles, Aurora does the best, and right now they seem to have a monopoly on edibles. The only other company that's really competing with them is Oxley, and Oxley really only has one really good product. The rest is like mediocre. Uh, the the va the vapes are mediocre in my opinion. Uh, these are the these are the Aurora chocolates. I really like these. They're very very expensive. They're seventeen dollars. These chocolates are here are like $10. This, these are $17, but they are, this is really nice packaging. Um, let me just unwrap this for you guys. To show you guys what it looks like. I need a, hold on. These are incredibly hard to pull out because you basically got to put your key in this slot and then push. So I pushed it out and this is what it looks like. Boom. These are really good. I really enjoyed them. They were packaged on let me see. Can't find the date. April April 5th, 2020. So yeah, not too long ago. I like these, but I don't think they sell very well simply because they are expensive and people would rather buy gummies. Like you can buy two boxes of gummies or almost three boxes of gummies for the same price as one of these. So, and they're like the same amount of THC. It's like two milligrams, but the taste of these are really good. But is it worth the money? Probably not. It's probably not worth the money, but really good packaging. Tastes good. If you if you like chocolate, definitely, I definitely recommend these. These are really good. Uh, that's my opinion. So yeah, uh, let's see what else I have in my bag of goodies. Okay, and I bought an Indica, uh, an Indica Drift pen. So yeah, I like Indica. It helps me sleep. So when I go, when I'm tired at night, I take some Indica, and it helps me get tired and go to sleep. But Sativa is like more of like, you know, have like energy, I guess. But that's my opinion. And then the lastly I have here is Aurora Spearmint. Uh, this was packaged on May, March, uh, wait, yeah, March 19th, 2020. And these pens were packaged on December, this one was December 2nd, 2019. Wow, this is really old. I wonder if Aurora sells a lot of pens. I don't think they do. I don't think they sell a lot of of these products because this date is really old. It's like uh, December 2nd, uh, 2012. That's like, whoa. Yeah, December 2nd, 2019. So it's been a while. So yeah, anyways, this is how I support Aurora. I have to buy their products. This cost, All this cost me about... $150, $156 with shipping and handling. So, you know, um, if you want Aurora to succeed, buy the products. If you don't and you want other companies to succeed, I understand. I mean, uh, if you're invested in a company and you want them to succeed, definitely buy the products. Or, uh, you know, like, that's what I do. I support my company by buying products. And my YouTube is basically the ones that's generating... Aurora is the only video that generates views on my channel. So, kind of owe them that too. Because so. there's a lot of people that like Aurora. 
and you know I was I I was off and on because of the reverse split, but I I realize now that it was it was planned. They wanted to reduce the amount of shares because everyone kept saying that Aurora was diluted. So the the best way to fix the illusion is to do reverse split. It's like a the company's doing a reset. Uh, it's really confusing retail investors, and a lot most of the time when a company does a reverse split, it always ends bad. But Aurora is a special case because Aurora is a growth company, and I don't look at a reverse split uh, stock price. I look at the company's fundamentals, and I I like the company. Uh, the and the lower the the market cap goes the more I like it because it becomes even more on sale but that's my opinion anyways uh that's it for my video thanks for watching I hope you enjoy it subscribe for future updates and have a great day bye